Welcome back to my channel, everyone. It has been a minute. It has been a while since I filmed a video and I do apologize for my absence. But as I stated in my last video, I found out I was pregnant. I was having a lot of complications. I'm still having a lot of complications, but um, I felt better enough today that um, I could probably do a video. So I'm gonna take advantage of the little um, moments that I have like this and try to film like my little updates for you all. So we started the year and I know everyone is super, super excited for 2020 to finally be over and for us to finally be starting a new year i know 2020 was very very rough for everyone so i'm also excited to see what this year brings um along with that um i am you know starting a different uh system this year it's still the same there's really nothing that has changed but i thought i would kind of update you all so um so i kind of showed this already i said that i would be incorporating this into my system but actually i've kind of switched up some things so i have a a7 which is my pocket planner that we've all grown to love i have this set up for 2020 um which I don't actually think I will use because it just kind of feels redundant or repetitive, I should say. Those are the correct words. It just kind of feels like repetitive to use this because it's the exact same setup that I had it in last year with, you know, the, the dailies. And I've written in it, but it isn't like, you know, something that um, I care to use right now. Um, I did purchase some inserts from um, So Much Crafting. I purchased like these monthly um, inserts. I kind of cut these down because I thought when I put them in here, I thought originally they were too big or they were bigger than um, pocket size, but it just so happens that I had so much in here that they hung out, so I just cut them down. But I purchased the monthly inserts for 2021, and so they're not front to back. And I did that so that I could take them out easily without having to see, like, you know, half of another month on the back. But I have these in here for reference, and I only have the three months in here. I also went ahead and purchased, if I can get to it, um, I know I put the entire year in here. I don't really know why I did, but I did. Um, I also went ahead and purchased some bill payment sheets. Um, I did this because I wanted to sort of like track my own like expenses, not so much like our household, but just like our, like my Amazon expenses. Because in 2020, I I was literally compulsively buying almost everything on Amazon. If you hear buzzing in the background, it is because our uh, washer is done. And when it's done, it beeps until you like open it and close it. But anywho, I purchased these, um, I have a whole year, I believe. Um, but anywho, I purchased these because I wanted to kind of track my own Amazon expenses. Lately, I haven't bought anything. So um, yeah, they, they really have not been in full use. Um, I still have in here like the uh, website password tracker uh, pages in here from Filofax. So I guess you can say like my pocket planner is very geared towards like reference material like this is where all your passwords are. This is where your phone book is. This is where your money is like the tracking stuff. This is where your schedule is where you can pre-plan. Um, 
I even have a spot in here to take notes. Like I said, this is very stuffed. Um, and it's catching on my rings a little bit because I've opened and closed these rings so much at this point that they are a little loose. Um, but I have a to-do section. So pretty, pretty basic. Um, pretty much the same stuff that I've had in here. Um, since last year i have just this is the german version um to catch people up to date for those who are new subscribers to my channel we are currently living in germany my husband's in the air force so um, a lot of the inserts that i have especially like these dailies that everyone asks me about all the time these are the German um, inserts. I don't know if they sell these in America, like the American um, Amazon, but definitely, you can definitely find them on the German Amazon for sure. Um, so yeah, like this is pretty much just all pre-planning. Um, I have the whole year of weeklies in here. They're pretty, pretty basic. So I guess you can say like this setup in my pocket is just very straightforward. Um, it has lots of stuff for me to like just use this as my main planner. But like I said, um, after setting this up, I really didn't really have much of a desire to want to use it. Like I do and I don't. So I will leave it be um, for now. Um, and if I feel the need to want to go smaller into something this small oops drop my pen i'll pick it up later um then i will definitely you know move back into this um <clears throat> excuse me um so one of my pregnancy symptoms is extreme saliva so i often find my mouth gets a little moist now i don't know if that has happened to anyone else who has been pregnant but it's definitely happened to me so i'm gonna take a sip of water really quick okay that kind of helps like break it up and like me get it down um i have a small color code here because these monthlies are so small you really can't use this sidebar unless you have like a really really fine tip pen and you really can't really write much of anything in here so i've kind of used like a little dot coloring system to kind of indicate certain things so i know we still have our german grocer our paydays i am now uh, going to the ob uh, more often for prenatal and then i have my nutrition classes there's more stuff but i really couldn't think of everything at that moment when i was setting this up i still have to go back and add but for right now this is fine so that's my seven minute, eight minute update with my pocket planner. So in terms of like my um, A5, like I mentioned in previous videos, uh, she's stuffed. My A5 is really, really, really stuffed. I'm hoping that I'm in frame, so okay. So my A5 is really, really, really stuff, but it's jam packed with lots of stuff, pretty much set up the exact same way as my pocket. It just has a couple of different things. So I won't go through like every single thing because I kind of already pretty much shown most of it. So like with all my planners, I have a to-do list. I've been doing this since last year. It was something that really, really helped me was to create a to-do list for the entire week and then try to get, you know, these things done within that week. Um, that way, when I go to set up for the next week and I have to see what needs to be done, I can go through the list and see, you know, like what we did, what we didn't do and, you know, so on. So I still have those. The second thing I added was, um, so I have bought a couple of inserts from So Much Crafting. Um, and if you're wondering, this sticker is from Sweet Kawhi Designs. I am subscribed to the Itty Bitty kit. Um, so the next thing that I got was I got a full year of um, like trackers, like monthly trackers. And so um, I really enjoyed having this in my pocket planner. I do have uh, a tracker um, 
I do have this kind of a tracker in my pocket planner, but it is for the year and I haven't quite figured out how to use the yearly trackers. Originally when I purchased um, them for pocket size, I thought that I had got the same ones for monthly, but they are yearly. So um, I'm still struggling a little bit with how to use it. So once I've kind of figured that out, then, you know, it'll be on and popping. But right now, um, I'm not using the pocket so much, so this is fine. Right now, I'm just tracking general things that I've been tracking um, pretty much all the time. I have a food log because I'm in a nutrition class, and then also I'm pregnant. So I try to make sure that I get, you know, uh, balanced meals, I try to be very cautious about what I eat. I am taking five different vitamins now. I'm not just taking my prenatal um, because I was so nutritional deficient. I've always been my entire life. So um, to help my pregnancy, there are five specific vitamins that I take and I have to make sure that I take all five every single day um, and if I run out of one I have to account for that and make sure that I make up for it at some point. Um, I'm also drinking a lot of water. Because I've had so many complications in my pregnancy it is very important that I track um, you know my water intake. I really want to do something more specific with my, my water tracking because um, there is a certain amount of water that I am supposed to drink each day and I have to meet that quota. It is very important for me. Um, I have general things on here like journaling, um, updating my mood tracker, posting to Instagram, which I've been failing at, um, and updating the budget and finance. I'm pretty sure everyone has been dealing with finances lately due to the pandemic. Um, we are no exception. So, um, that's one reason why I haven't been on Amazon lately, but yeah. Um, so I have that in here. And then the next thing that I have in here is a mood tracker. So usually I would have a sleep tracker, mood tracker sort of a situation. If you guys um, have been following me since last year, if you watched any of the older videos that I had in personal rings, I used to like do the little circles with the little happy faces and that would be my mood tracker. Um, <clears throat> I, <laughs> I don't have that kind of patience anymore. Like, especially when being pregnant, I really don't have that patience to sit here and, you know, draw out the little faces. Yes, it was very soothing to be in my planner, but now I just kind of want to put the information in here and see what I need to do and move on. I have kind of debated, and though I said this in the very end of last year, I've kind of debated on, you know, whether or not I wanted to use um, personal size again. And I'm thinking that if I do use personal size or if I do, you know, try to incorporate personal, that I might get the Franklin Covey um, compact, I think it's compact, I might get those um, and just try them out because I've always wanted to try out Franklin Covey. I've even wanted to try out the, their binders, but um, I don't know. It's something that I'm still trying to figure out. Because I love A6. I think A6 is like the perfect combination between personal and pocket. But then I kind of miss having my personal planner too. But then A5 was like my best friend last year in bullet journal style because there's so much space. I could write big. I could write small. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I got this. And like I said, this insert was from So Much Crafting. It's just a general mood tracker. I have the whole year in here. So yeah, I just literally just put numbers in here so I could figure out which days I was on. And there's a couple of spots for you to write, you know, um, your moods. I suppose you could always draw boxes and write more if you wanted to, but um, I just keep with the basics. So I have a year pullout calendar. This actually uh, comes out because I put slits in it, but at the time when I put slits in here, I didn't reinforce the holes with like washi tape or anything. So it's been kind of just 
sticking in there and maybe today since I have a little bit more energy I could go over it with washi tape and reinforce the holes so it's not you know just slipping out all the time but um, this is undated which I love and I don't have it completely filled out but I do have you know like January and February just some things that I know that are coming up um, for right now I didn't really care too much about putting stuff in here because I also have the German one um, that I used last year for tracking workouts that I could always add stuff in so that is that this actually starts the monthly and these are from recollections so when we were in the states visiting family um, <clears throat> back in November um, I took the liberty of running to Michael's <laughs> while they were having like their 50% off sales and I snagged the recollections inserts for a5 and the binder if you and I don't know if this video is still like visible on my channel but if you go all the way back i think to year 2014 maybe maybe 15 i don't know it's it's a really old video i had this exact same binder and this exact same um these exact same inserts uh years ago and when I moved to Germany, I got rid of them because I didn't think I would ever go back into A5 size. Surprise, surprise, I'm back. So um, when we went home that year, I hurried up and snagged this. And I'm actually glad that I did because I did not, I could not understand why, you know, A5 is like the most comfortable size to be in. Um, there's so much space, but anywho, this is the monthly overview. Of course, everything is undated. The stickers, again, there are sweet kawaii designs. Um, so, uh, oh, there's sweet kawaii designs, itty bitty. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they are the itty bitty um, uh, stickers. So they are a little short, but the itty bitty is probably like your best bet because it's universal between pocket, um, A6, personal, and A5. So it doesn't really matter what size you're in, your stickers will most likely all fit um, with the exception of like your like monthly banners and stuff. Um, those probably won't fit so much, but you know, for the most part, you can get everything in there. Um, but anywho, I just have some basic things that are that is going on. Like I have my appointments in here; they're scheduled in here. Those are set in stone. I have like certain paydays um, in here. I've used a box sticker to highlight like my 16th week prenatal appointment, which is in two weeks. Um, and then I use instead of just using like the little stickers for the holidays. I actually used a little, um, I think they're like weekly or daily banners. I use those as like a little strip of washi to kind of, you know, um, be the background for the sticker. So trying to use some of the things that come in my kits, um, I, j I just fail at that sometimes miserably. So after the monthly, um, I have the weeklies. Now, um, in personal size, the weekly inserts were my favorite. I felt like they were enough space because they were, you know, just big enough for me to put like general stuff in there. I could pre-plan in there. I could do a lot of things. And so I'm really debating on personal size. Again, I really did love personal. Um, although I have A6, um, which I have yet to kind of fill out, um, but I do have that. But since these weeklies are so big, I thought that I would split them up into sections. So the way that it's split up is I have a box, which is for like anything. So for example, um, Tuesday I say grocery shopping and there's certain bills that are due on this day. Or like Wednesday, I have my nutrition appointments. Um, and then Friday, I have an OB appointment. So 
the box that's the biggest would be for like the general appointments and stuff. The second box, which is the BL and D, is for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it's kind of my way to incorporate how how I can schedule out what I'm going to eat for breakfast, lunch, and then dinner. And then that third box is for the weather. If you know from last year, I loved to track the weather in my daily pages. I did it a lot. Um... But sometimes, you know, depending on what kind of page I had, it was very cumbersome because there wasn't enough space. I, was, I also was putting, you know, what we were going to eat for dinner in my daily pages. So to cut down on that and to save space, because this is so large, I've just put it into, you know, the weekly format because I don't need all this space for like one task. It would be a complete waste. So that is that. Um, if I have any notes for the week, they will go down at the bottom. I have thought to do gratitude, but then I also have a gratitude booklet in the very back. So it was kind of like senseless to do that. Um, and then, of course, you know, it would just start the same way for the rest of the months. So I'm going to fast forward. Um, let's see. Okay. So I showed you guys this before. Um, and before I was looking for budget, um, budget inserts, I was, you know, looking online for budget inserts and I could not find any. I thought Filofax would have had them for A5, but they didn't, surprisingly. And so, <clears throat> so much crafting actually had budget inserts for A5. Now, her A5 inserts, um, compared to like the Recollections inserts, they are a tad narrow, narrower and a tad taller. So yes, I could cut them down, but I chose not to do so because um, I didn't want to mess up. My paper cutter is, you know, it needs to be, ch the blade needs to be changed. So I didn't want to mess them up. So I just left them be. It's not a real big deal. But um, I didn't finish this out because of course, I wanted to film this video so that I could show you guys um, how how they work. Um, but anywho, um, I really like how simple these are. If you watch the video prior to this, um, when I showed this binder, I had the Recollections um, budget inserts. That's where this cover comes from because it's part of that booklet. I had the recollections budget inserts in here, but one thing that I did not like is that they were extremely detailed, like to the core. And then they had sheets for like, you know, you know, reflecting on your budget. That would be great if I, you know, was setting up, you know, a budget binder, but I just like to track general household expenses and then see where we are. I don't want to really be too, too detailed because we don't have anything to really be detailed about. So as long as, you know, I have a date, what it was, the amount and the current balance, I'm totally fine with that. Um, the ones in my pocket are dated for each month. They are front to back, but these are like undated. So they could be for any month. So I have those in here. And then last year, I also used the Charmed Life um, Master Planner from Alexis, aka Miss Trenchcoat on YouTube. I used her planner and I, I actually liked her planner. I didn't like some of the elements of it, but I did like it. Eventually, somewhere last year, um, in the middle of the year, I cut the book down. I cut the book down and hole punched all the inserts because it's A5. Her inserts um, from the recollections are just like the So Much Crafting. They are a tad um, thinner and a tad taller. So they don't actually fit with the recollections or the chrono plant inserts that I use that are German. But I really liked how she had an organize and act section in there where you can organize um, tasks from importance um, to not important, what's urgent and what's not urgent. So because we have a baby coming, 
by the grace of God, if this is God willing and we are able to carry full term, we are going to have to do some serious planning for ourselves and for babies. So I thought that it would be beneficial to put like these in here so that we can get all of that stuff together. Because as you know, we are living overseas and we will be having a baby overseas. And there's a couple of things, important things that we would need to do um, to prep for like any future moves that we will have, which is coming up because this is our last year here. So I have a couple of those in here, not a whole lot. Um, we also have a brain dump on the back of it. So if there's, you know, like things, tasks, such and such, um, I can put that on here and then organize it all on the front. The next thing that I have is this German yearly pullout. And this one I did reinforce with washi tape, which I need to do with the one in the front. But it is just like the one from last year that I used with the personal rings. Um, this one is set up to where there's a goal for each month. So unlike, you know, the personal one, it had, you know, a line for just one goal. This one actually has a couple of, you know, like lines for like main budget or not main budgets, main um, tasks. So you can set a couple of tasks, important tasks for the month and then get them done. You can check them off. You can categorize them as importance from least importance. So I really, really like these. Um, and same thing down at the bottom. So like I said, this one is geared more, more towards productivity and like setting, you know, like goals for yourself, um, for things that you really want to get done. So I will be using this, but I just don't have a need for it at this current moment. A uh, future planning sheet, it is dated for 2022. It is German. It is the full year. So, of course, January through June on the front and then the rest of the year on the back. And then, of course, the chrono plan dailies. I love the A5 dailies because I can write so much bigger. I can space out. I still don't like one aspect of them, but it never bothered me really because I can always ignore these times. Like if the times don't line up for, you know, the things that I have to put in here, I just ignore them. I like it because it's like a checklist or a to-do list for each day. Um, you have a, a section to write a goal up at the bottom, uh, uh, <laughs> up at the top. And then you have a section down at the bottom that is pretty much blank so there's no time on it. And then you can write, you know, like extra tasks. You can time them if you want. Um, I pretty much just use them how I want, um, as I choose. And if you watch any of my older videos from 2020, you can definitely see how I used these inserts for pocket and also personal size last year. So because there's really like nothing going on. I've been put on bed rest quite a few times this pregnancy, so I really don't ever have any real tasks. I just keep putting in here every day to take my prenatal. So in the beginning, when I showed you the monthly tracker, I have it broken down to take vitamins, but in the daily section, I actually break them down more. So I have prenatal, vitamin B12, vitamin C, calcium, and vitamin D. And so I make them an importance. So I mark them A and I check them off as I take them. If there's ever a day, like I mentioned, where I don't take them at all or where I miss one, I can mark that off and then know that I didn't take, you know, say vitamin C today or something like that. So pretty much that is what I have for the daily section. Like I said, there's, there's not a whole lot. Um, going on for daily I have a note section but like I said there's there's no notes and then the very 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 back I have a password section in here which I have yet to fill out so just like with my pocket rings I wanted to be able to keep track of passwords because if there's ever an instance where I don't have the pocket close by but I have this binder then I could always look here and reference my passwords. Um, and then I showed this already 
in a recent video uh, when I did the initial flip. It's just a gratitude book and I haven't filled out anything in here yet. I want to, but I just, sometimes I just don't have any energy to. It's just, you know, there's different things for gratitude every single day. Um, it's undated, so there's like really, you know, it's geared towards whatever you want to do. So that is my A5 binder. Like I said, it's super chunky. It's packed with lots of stuff, um, as you can see. It's packed with lots and lots of stuff. Um, but that is my A5 binder. So I hope you guys enjoyed the mini update. Let me know how you feel about starting the new year. Um, I'm excited for this new year. I hope that it brings joy and happiness. So yeah, guys, that's my update. I hope to see you all very soon. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new subscribers, and I will catch you in another planner-related video. Bye, guys.